Okay, y'all, guess what we are doing? We are gonna start training to do our first pull up. Now, I put a poll up on TikTok asking if I should do a 30 day running challenge where I try to improve my one kilometer time or if I should train to get my first pull up and the majority have voted to get my first pull up. So that's what we're training for. Anywho, I do have a plan for this. So I researched some very credible fitness TikToker. TikTok. Oh, why can I not pronounce that? TikTokers for their tips on getting your first pull up. So I have a game plan. Let's get to the door. Okay, base test. Let's see how far I can go, how much I can do just from day one. So let's try it out. Okay. I learned about grip strain. Okay. Maybe I should get gloves and cheat a little bit. I don't know. Okay, ready? We're going for it. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, as a starting point. Okay, let's talk strategy. How on earth am I gonna get my first pull up? So, like I mentioned, I have looked up some very, very credible sources, aka my favorite fitness TikTokers, and here are the three things that I'm gonna do. So dead hangs. My goal is three sets of 20 to 30 seconds, but that might be very optimistic. I'm actually not sure if I can just dead hang for 20 seconds. I've never tried that before. Two scapular raises, scapular retractions, I think they're called. Uh, so let's say, 10 of those, three sets, and then negative pull-ups. Let's say 10 of those, and maybe one to two sets, depending on how it goes. I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna play this by ear uh, in the first few days and see what works for me, and then go from there and adjust as needed as we, as we move on, because your girl here wants to get her first pull up, okay? So let's go, let's do this. Day one, let's get into it. Okay, so I just realized this is not a great idea for my eczema because I have broken skin between my hands. So I know there's gloves for this type of stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna make do and use this stuff, these winter gloves that I have, and then potentially buy those other gloves. I'm not sure. I just, I don't like wearing gloves because I feel like it's gonna make my eczema worse. But hopefully with this, it doesn't rub against the skin. So let's try to do the scapular retraction because I just finished the dead hangs. Why does this hurt so much? Okay, so let's say I was optimistic. So dead hangs, I could get three sets of 10 seconds each. Scapular retractions, I got two sets of five each and now i'm going to try the negative pull up so let's see how that goes Okay, also some bad news. I just finished doing the negatives and I did like 10, one set of 10 and why I stopped is because my hand is not feeling great. So why does I keep doing that? I have eczema. You can't really see it between my fingers right here and that's exactly where the bar rests. And even with the gloves on, skin came off and now it's weeping. Um, which is terrible and makes me feel terrible. So I'm not sure this is a great idea, honestly. I'm not sure. That was a lot of fun and I want to train, 
but if my hand can't handle it, then I'm not sure. Ow, now it hurts. Fabulous. Okay, fabulous. Okay, hey, y'all, let's get to it. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Um, you might be thinking why on earth did I post it? And I posted it because of a very specific reason. You know, you see all of the success on YouTube and I decided to post this because it's a really good reminder that things do not always go as planned. When I started out this challenge at the very beginning, I was super excited, super pumped because I've been wanting to train for pull-ups and loud noise. Let's let it go. Okay, I've been wanting to train for pull-ups for so long and I was finally able to get a pull-up bar and I was super excited. I was like, yay, finally, we're gonna train for a pull-up. But by the end of the video, I was super disappointed because my skin had ripped and it was, and I was in pain and I was super frustrated and irritated and disappointed that I couldn't do the challenge like I had planned originally. And now my skin was cracked and things were going down the drain. I was just super frustrated. But you know, I pivoted. I'm now doing a 30 day running challenge, which will be coming out after 30 days. And I will eventually get to the pull up challenge as when my skin heals and you know, hopefully it will. I'm very hopeful that it will. When it does, I'll get back to it. And that's how we move. This is a reminder that, you know, you plan and God plans and you gotta go with it. So that's what we're doing. We're going with it. And I encourage you to also embrace the mishaps that are, you know, that may be happening in your life and roll with it. So with that said, thank you for watching. And you know what I'm gonna say? Until next time.